hello viewer welcome to my youtube channel so today i'll be making this beautiful chocolate bread that you can see here so make sure you watch this video to the end let's get started so in my flour i added my sugar don't worry the full recipe will be in the description section and i measured in my yeast that is how i measured my yeast then I have my chocolate biscuits. You can use any type of chocolate biscuits. Just crush it in whichever way that is convenient to you. And into your flour, add your cocoa powder and your liquid flavor and any other ingredients. For me, I added nutmeg, cinnamon, some crushed flax seed, and then my crushed cocoa biscuits and then I incorporated everything together so I added one egg yolk few drops of lemon juice and evaporated milk so all you need to do is just to mix together to form your dough and then you add your water if needed and form your dough so yes this is what I got then after then you knead it a little and cover it up for you to double in size so when making your cocoa your chocolate bread make sure you use warm water and then so this is my after allowing it to rise this is the texture i have the temperature was cool so it didn't really rise very well but that is never a problem so i kneaded it and added my margarine so after adding my margarine you knead again very well so it will become sticky as you need but do not worry just continue kneading and then you can see the way i'm kneading it so kneading gives your bread a very good texture so invest in kneading your bread so if this is your first time of stopping by by my channel thank you so much for watching thank you so much for stopping by to watch my video and do make sure you like this video do make sure you subscribe and do make sure you share so i form my dough into a desired shape so yeah using the rolling pin is another way of making it easier for you to knead your dough so i add a plain dough i set aside the plain dough of camera because i wanted to make a mixture of the plain dough bread and the chocolate bread so and then after lubricating my pan i set my dough in my pan and i egg washed so i used milk and um, sugar so that was why it was watery then you can sprinkle some crushed biscuits on it just for aesthetics and i also sprinkled some coffee too yes i used coffee in this bread recipe but it's not compulsory look at the beautiful bread i've got so this bread was so delicious and fluffy so one thing with chocolate bread is cocoa powder is kind of bitter so if you have to use more cocoa powder you need to use more sugar but the full recipe for a perfect chocolate bread would be in the description section thank you so much for watching and do check my bread making video playlist for more amazing bread recipe see you again in my next video stay safe Bye -bye.